do you want? You stand in the way of a new age dawning. Sis, I'm scared. It's all right. I'll protect you. And I'll work, I swear. Behold, the widening rift in the sky. It's proof definite the world abhors you. Spare me your ravings. If you would interfere with this research for the sake of spouting your nonsense, you do not deserve my mercy. Me. Why won't you understand? Why won't you accept that we are the ones destined to lead? You will not so easily refute our history. So be it. I reject you. I will take the mantle and become father of our kin. You should think long and hard about what the death of a leader would mean for us. Come on, Big Sis. That's enough. Don't defend her. This idiot child. I had to. What? To protect it at all cost. You've only just woken up. Come on, we'll let you rest. Yes. Thank you. What that for? You know, use triple snooze for she sweet dreams. That seem extremely sexy. <laughs> <laughs> This might just be what we need to defeat the Folk King. Yeah. Feeling better? Yes. Much better now. What a relief! Miss Manny, good as new. Kino saved day again. Less braggy, please. The whole thing got me wondering. Why did Folk Beasts appear when the rift got wider? I think the intensity of the rift's rays exceeded the density of the Telethia's ether field. Um, none of that makes any sense to me. How is the density connected to the Fog King? If we could put up an ether field denser than the Telethia's, the Fog King will become vulnerable. How does one put up an ether field? Secondly, where does one obtain such highly concentrated ether? For the field, I think this guy will do the job, with a little tinkering. In that case, it's just a matter of gathering up enough high-purity ether crystals, except... Except what? Those kinds of ether crystals are extremely rare. I'm not sure where I'd even start looking. There might be none at all around here. Oh, cheer up, all of you. It is not a foregone conclusion. And in any scenario, if we cannot defeat the Fog King without them, we will have to keep looking until we find them. Hmm, true enough. Good. Now let us start by asking around. Hey! Hey, okay.
Welcome. Welcome. Hi there. Shook, looky look! Plenty of trees growing. Looks like this area isn't very heavily cultivated. That might be why nature runs so rampant. Big step for Nupon! Kino make this into Frontier Village Mark II! Frontier Village, huh? I was amazed first time I saw it. All the pollen factories built into that giant tree. Nupon never use metal if can be helped. Except for Sister Pon, who like to use Hum Hum Shield very much. Oh, right. It's true, though. Ricky never did use a metal weapon. It looked more like a fruit of some kind. Kino here, this is actually gumberry that store ether within. Kino just make it suck in ether, and then it shoot out contents like real rifle. Is that right? I'm not sure I've ever seen a berry that big before. Indeedy. Kino never see one lying around before, that for sure. The plants that bear them must be very rare. I knew biters, but I didn't know you had curiosities like these. Well, biters still more popular. 
little Pankino also wants to use Biter, but no beef on wings, so could not carry properly. But then, when Kino gets in big sulk, Dadapon go and pick Cumbery from somewhere. Ricky did. So he can be a model father. I'm impressed. Yes, yes. Dadapon is true hero born. This weapon only used now by Knockon 2 Wimpy to hold Biter, but Dadapon was first one to discover. Everyone jumped for happy when introduced. Ricky is a man of many talents, huh? A true hero born indeed. Dadapon say, he get idea for making into weapon from Hom Hom gun. Inspired by a Hom's gun? Ah, Charla's ether rifle then. Though if he was going to make weapons, I would have been happy to help him out. How about if Shulk give Kino pointers? Kino still not always hit target. Pointers, eh? From what I saw though, it seemed like you knew your stuff. Kino also thinks so, but still sometimes miss. Right. Then maybe you'd best learn how to properly handle the weapon. Properly how? Hmm. Am I right to assume you've never really had proper training? Am I? How shock knowing of that? Kino, state of shock. I reckon the weapon's more beat up than it should be. You don't want that. More prone to malfunctions. What Kino should do? It's important to be as careful as possible. Handle it too roughly, and you could end up warping the grip. If the aim is a little off, it could potentially be because of that. Oh, Shulk, no such things. Kino never figure out in a million years. I've always liked tinkering with weapons. Even made my friend Ryan's weapon, in fact. That'll be why. If you need a weapon maintained, I'm your guy. She'll really second most awesome after that upon. Tell Kino more, more, more! All right. But for now, let's reinforce this to help with your aim. In return, could you perhaps share some more stories? Kino liked that deal! Thank <laughs> you. 
Something on your mind?
Greetings. Greetings.
Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. 
What is it, Kino? Has something happened? Ah, uh, Miss Manny! Why the sighing? It's unlike the bright, bubbly Kino I know. What? Kino not about to be moody? It's sensitive, especially at age of now! I see. Then I hope you'll forgive me. So something worrying you? Anything you care to discuss with me? Doubt if can help. But maybe Miss Mally have some advice. Oh, very well. In that case, I'm all ears. Kino, follow Miss Mally and sure cause Skulky like to come with. Hmm, yes, quite. But at start, Kino never think Kino come to such very far away place. That why, when Kino leave, Kino not say bye bye his tomorrow pun. If Kino come back now. There's sure to be heck to pay. Mama Pan angry, wants to look like Chew Toy. Just thought of remember makes Moo Goku plunge. Hmm. Did Oka really have such force of character? But don't fret. It's only because she worries about you. That intensity is nothing but a sign that you are loved dearly, Kino. Miss Molly sure? Yes. I'd say. She only scolds you because she cares. Manapon get angry because love. You know, not really understand. Look at it this way. Kino, you are her beloved son. If you were hurt, Oka would be sad, would she not? Therefore, when she scolds you, it's to try and ensure that you don't put yourself in harm's way. So, do not think it cruelty. Oh, <gasps> Kino, no! Everything resolved. If you miss Melly, just ask Mama Pond to tone down harsh when angry at Kino. If 
Do that. Even one of them may become a bit gentle enough on. No. That I cannot do. Mira, why not? You really need me to explain. Isn't it the mark of a hero pawn to take responsibility for their own actions? At least I believe Ricky did. To an extent. If you wanted to come with us, you should have asked Ricky and Oka's permission to begin with. Don't you think that's what a hero pawn ought to do? <laughs> You'll find as you go through life, similar situations may reoccur. If they do, and if you act the way you did this time, nobody will acknowledge you as a true hero pawn. Sneaking on the boat was naughty behavior. <laughs> Kino, once you realize you have done wrong, you must reflect on it and rectify it as soon as you can. If you let the chance slip you by, you may not get another. Kino got it, Miss Melly. From now, Kino promised to never follow friends or sneaky skulky again. We'll follow friends proudly. Oh, <laughs> it seems. I didn't explain properly after all. What you did wrong was to cause Oka undue concern. So you'll have to accept your punishment, put time into self-reflection, and next time, simply do better. That is the behavior that will let you grow in your path as a mighty hero. Understood. Kino promise. Hmm. I wonder if he really understood. Shulk stopped so sudden. I was just thinking about the cave near Colony 9. Do you know it, Nene? It's called Tefra Cave. Nene, no place. Nene tag along once with group of Hum Hum. Went to fetch ether cylinders. I've done that too sometimes. Went with Ryan a couple of times. Mama, hooray for twinsies. Nene went there during rebuilding effort. So you did your part to help Nene. Thanks for that. It not thing that need thanks per se. Just doing civic duty. Must stay friends and work together. With all peoples that live in world. <laughs> That's right. But folk here have lot of angry kerskuffles. Fight between neighbors bad. Should watch Nene and Kino. Learn to everyone play nice. Well... I wouldn't say the people here are enemies, exactly. They just... don't know how to work out their feelings. That just... fancy way of saying fighting? It's not exactly like fighting. Both sides do understand each other, but their paths took them in different directions. What Mr. Shock mean? If the two sides had simply hated each other, they wouldn't just leave. They tried to drive the other side out by force. But that's not what they did. They still have common ground to stand on. And Melly is here now. They just need some time to mull things over. Mr. Shulk is very kind person. Very different from Mama Pon. When Nene and Kino get into bad fight, Mama Pon spank first, then ask questions. Nene and Kino always in tears, but always say sorries and make up with hug hug. End of end, friendship become much stronger. Being friends mean a whole lot more fun, and more fun is more good. Also, everyone in Colony 9 was friends from start of start. Well, that's because everyone there was working to help rebuild. 
We all share the same dream. But dreams of people here all really all that different from each other. For now, I guess. But Melly is doing the best she can, and we need to as well. Nene, understand. Nene will wait until Miss Melly and make dreams of everyone mush together as one. But if dream of Miss Melia not go through to everyone, in that case, Nene will... Nene will... Nene will give vicious spankings, and no one's spared, even not Mr. Shulk. What? Me as well? <laughs> Just promise to be gentle. Let's go! Oh, you're 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 you
Focus our efforts. So now what we need to do is modify the weapon to incorporate the crystals. Mm. Grads them, sir! Fog beasts have broken through the gates! They're through! <sighs> if only they'd waited a few hours. Shulk, defending Grandel is our priority. Follow me. Right. We shall deal with the intruders. You get the villagers to safety. Okay. Teelan. You stay put. Gotcha! We're here to help. This rabble won't stand a chance, not against the big one. We'll keep the small fry off your back. All right. You go no further. Yeah. Please, life is no use. Kino make you full of holes. And Nene teach you bitter manners. We beat them this time, but the numbers are against us. 
I hate to say it, but if you'd already left when the attack happened, we'd be smoke. Fog King must go! Down with Fog King! The situation is tough. I agree. Melia? I'll do it. I will bring the companions back to lend you aid. They won't agree. You know they despise us. They must see the danger. They will understand what needs to be done. Yea. As soldiers of the High Entia, they know it's their solemn duty. Hmm. <laughs> I swear it. I will bring them back with me. Please. Trust me, Radsom. I'll be right here. Trusting and waiting. Tyrea. Yeah, yeah. Hurry up and go. But I haven't even... Defend this place until I return. Those are your orders, right? Though we're short-handed as it is. Will you be okay? Just go, before I change my mind. Thank you. We'll be quick. Movement! Multiple biggins confirmed! Impossible! More already! If the rift grows any wider than it is now, Grandel is lost. We must hurry. Come, follow me. You head straight for the cape. What are you saying? This will take all of us. I know exactly what my orders are here. I hope I don't have to remind you what yours are. But that's... You said it yourself. If the rift grows any wider, there's no way we'll be able to hold this place alone anyway. This is our last chance to enlist the Companion's aid. Tyrea. Radzam is trusting you with this. Now you put your trust in me. <sighs> Come on. We make for the Companion's Cape. That's all of them. We're in the clear. 
Breathe deep, men, and prepare for the next wave. Let's go through it again. Hi, Ezio, deploy your shields. Stop the advance on the gates. Anyone with a rifle, clean out small targets in range. Remember, all we're here to do is buy time. Eliminating all threats is not our mission. Make no mistake. Mom! Huh. Fog be sighted! To arms! They're all just... gone. What? But how? How are you? All well? Y yeah What the hell are you? Never you mind that. We've come to make a request. Time is of the essence. Go on. Would you return to Grandel? If you're asking like that, I assume you know why we left. Indeed. Then you must know why that's not an option. What if I said, Grandel is besieged by fog beasts? Are you serious? I'm far too busy to come here just to lie. And the villagers? Are they safe? Yes. For the time being. But not for much longer. You don't seem all that surprised, Maxis. No. I didn't know. Just connecting the dots. If we were it, then... Well, I trust I needn't spell it out for you. A veteran of the Guard. You need not. <sighs> but it's not as simple as you make it out. I never said anything about simple. But you did ask. You forget yourself, Maxis. Do I now? What matters here is that the lives you have been guarding are once again in danger as we speak. Yes, but... You're free to have your reasons. But you need to find a way to accept reality and move forward in your life. <sighs> Maxis, we are the lucky ones. What do you mean? We can go home. That's nonsense. The Fog King has Alchemoth. Yes, but our home is right there, even if we cannot live in it now. But what of the other refugees? To them, home is gone. Even if they could leave, they have no certainty home still exists. But we... We left them for dead. How could we possibly? It is never too late to make amends. As long as you live. After all, despite your quarrels, you are neighbors, family. Those bonds can withstand more than you think. Maxis, realize what you have. Do it before it's too late. Or you'll regret it. <clears throat> Maxis, I'm going with these people. I can't turn my back on them. Maxis? <sighs> You're damn good. All right, I'm in. So you're with us? Truly. Yes. But it wasn't your fancy words that swayed me. My family needs me. Fine. As you wish. Birdman pain in bomb bomb. Real feather brain.
spoiled princess brat. No sign of Miss Maria yet. Not so far. Damn! Bunch of new hostiles closing in. I guess the lot from the Cape really left us for dead. Miss Pereira, it's all over. Please pull back. Not just yet. Stand firm. Believe in our brethren. Believe in your new leader. But man, there's only so much you can do. When you see me fall, abandon this place and withdraw into Grand Dell. Victoria! He kept us waiting. You big jerk! Lady Melia! She's back! And it looks like you brought the companions with her! Let's clear a path! Maxis, thank you. Ha! Huh. It's me who should be thanking you, Ransom. If you hadn't spoken out when you did, we couldn't be having this conversation. What are you talking about? If it weren't for your help, we'd all have kicked it ages ago. Smelly looking for Tyria. She go back after healing. Cannot put up with this sentimental manure. Was exact words. <laughs> Sounds just like her. To a T. Lady Melia, I'm glad we trusted you. We owe you a debt for our lives. No, you have only each other to thank. Huh? Wait up, huh? Melia? Did he say Melia? Indeed. Surely not. You can't be THE Melia Antiqua. Antiqua? Uh, yes. I do get called that sometimes. I... that... no. What? That means... Your... Your Highness... 
is the Crown Princess Melia. Do you need a minute, Maxis? Impudence! This girl is the true-born child of our late Emperor Saurian, the Imperial successor, Crown Princess Melia Antiqua. Is he telling the truth? It was not my intent to deceive. I thought if I announced myself, it could bring hope, but it could also bring despair. What our people need now is hope only. Hence the discretion. I'd appreciate if you treated me normally. Right. That is enough of that. Much work remains, after all. You mean slaying the Fog King? Lady Melia, we companions will form your honor guard. You won't. You companions will join Tyrea and guard Grandel from Fogbeast Incursion. But that's... Listen to me, Maxis. You feel you want to dispel the regrets of your brethren by your own hands. I understand well. But, for the sake of those fallen, you must protect the living. Don't you think that's the best way to use your talents right now? <sighs> the companion's strength, Grandel's knowledge, Tyrea's will. Without any one of those, the town would be lost. It's the only way. I understand. We accept. Trust us with the ramparts. Thank you. Truly. Lady Melia, take care. Absolutely. Maxis and his companions. They're counting on us, too. Yes. Let us perform the enhancements at Radsom's. May we, Radsom? Ah, oh, only too gladly, Miss Melia. It's ready. Ha! Huh? We've not changed much. Still same. Quite. Well, it was more of a tweak. I don't mind. If it lets us take down the Fog King. Hmm. Theoretically. Finally come time for denouement. Days of Fog King numbered! Well, it is time. Please come back safe. But a prepare feast while wait! Keelan, not to cause mischief in meantime, okay? So, you did it. Thanks to you, and to Teelan. Strength and honor, friend. We will do our best. The Fog King is in the villa. You saw it? Yeah. But how will we get in there? I tried to enter several times, but the transporter refused to work. That's because it was set so that only I could activate it. Why? The villa was where I rescued Teelan from the Fog King's clutches before you came. I wanted to seal it off and trap the monster inside. Except... The transporters, they don't mean a damn thing to it. Still, it seemed better than nothing, so I put it on lockdown. Is that...? I used this for authentication. Take it. I have no need of it anymore. I see. We'll keep guard here, don't worry. Good. I shall count on it. Our race's future is in your hands. Got it? All right. I won't let you down. Well, let's go. Hmm. Nene got friends and friends of friends. 
that line of Hero Pomkino. You brave few who venture forth, we salute you!